Okay, so I take it this is part two on the video series for tonight. Don't ask me what time it is. I'm still trying to get that information there for you. So we were John C. of Roseman, California. It's 9.06 in the evening. It is Wednesday, the 21st of February, 2024. The last video I was talking about was politics and food and prices and then getting into recipes of sorts or... You know, things you have to deal with to survive, not to mention there was calculations, socialism, money, and all this other fun stuff. So, let's talk about that one, shall we? I know there's people out there who are on balanced budgets. We are on fixed incomes. Doesn't matter if we're getting a salary or if we're getting the usual uh, government stipend. I'm sorry, stipend would be the word for it. Acid indigestion from cereal dinner tonight. <laughs> Believe me, sometimes cereal does make a wonderful dinner, especially when you don't want to cook. Grab some, or well, maybe cooked cereal, like cream of wheat. Uh, dry cereal, once you have the choppers still working, you can eat that, throw some fruit in, you know, raisins, bananas. Works well with uh, cream of wheat anyway. Okay, so uh, you get your monthly amount. You get your set amount. But you still have to figure out how much you're going to be able to use during this month. Now for me, I have to figure all this mumble jumbo out, which would probably please my mother like crazy because she knew how much I never liked math in the first place. I mean, not just basic math, like adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and this is what we, this is what we do all the time. But algebraic is trying to put it into a form of function that our brains can actually figure out the pro thought process and try to get to the, to the correct solution. We think logically, and we don't even realize it, but we hate the damn thing because it's so damn logical. It's like, I, I don't understand it, but I need to think about this one here. It's just, it's just crazy. So, you get, you have to get your expenditures going first. How much do you have for the bills, or how much are you expecting for the bills, okay? Then you got to tap into the sources that you got coming into the household for that month. Once you get the sources of income coming in and added up, that's your pot. That's your honey pot right there. That's what you have to deal with, with the month per month per month per month. So you focus on the month. So you get the majors. You subtract it from the honey pot. And that gives you the balance right there. Now, you got to calculate also how many days that you have between the day that you just got it and then the next month that you're going to get it. Depending on if you got a leap year and also if you got a month that's going to have 28 or 30 or 31 days. Or in leap years, 29 days. And what day did you happen to get your funding on? Then you start taking, then you start taking that particular date. That's day one. That's not zero. That's day one right there. Oh, by the way, if you happen to see anything crawling around the screen or anything else in the back, behind me, don't freak. That's bug war. I mean, the bugs are all over the damn place. So what we have, let's just say that, for example, every Friday, uh, every uh, the third, approximate, it comes in. Okay. From the third to the end of the week, and then two or three more weeks, and then the last week is going to be the excess amount of days, and then maybe one or two. So you take that days and keep that aside. I'm not a math professor, but this is the kind of stuff I have to work with all the time. I'm going to put in a fictional amount that I have to balance out, okay? <clears throat> this may freak people out, but this is just an example, okay? <clears throat> then 
depending if I had school or not. So I'll just put in and let's just say it's about six, seven, uh, well, seven, eight, seven or nine hundred. Let's make a nine hundred. Make that interesting. All right. And then if you got, uh, let's see, I gotta make that cheaper than that. Let's get this about. Uh, that makes it under. That's what I gotta get it under. Because I'm also. There's a reason why I have to do some separate calculations on this thing here. If you're, if you're using limited income from the government and you got 12 months, keep this in mind that if you're going to be on um, food stamps, there's dollar thresholds. Per month on these things. So let me see. Hmm, that's basically. Now keep this in mind. To a lot of people, this is a lot of money, but this may not be because this is still under the national threshold. This is for a guy like me who has me to take care of and a dog. But they don't count the dog. They just only count me. <clears throat> so there's a certain amount of threshold that I'm allowed to get. If I earn less, I may get a lot more. If I'm getting a lot more in Social Security or disability, they're going to be taking the hell of a lot because it seems like I can, I can manage. Even with the with the crap we're dealing with right now. So any little bit helps. This particular formula I'm doing right now is comparable to what I'm getting right now. And what the hell? So. Now this is, they also count that when you get school money, they also take that into account. Let's say, think so and hope so. But I am putting in school because I go to school. But this is not my amount for this month. This is basically an over, overblown aspect of it. But I'm also going to be putting in without it. So... So I want you to see what the hell I got. Yeah, let's see. Uh, so not how much anyway. So okay. I mean, you can do a screenshot on this one if you want to. Okay, this is basically an example. Let's get things started. <coughs> yeah, let's see, what do I get? I get Edison. <coughs> I initialize it with something here. Edison, then I got TV, which is the entertainment, which is the internet crap I got. Uh, I'll put in that amount anyway. Let's see, add Edison's between, sometimes during the wintertime, they get... They have a lot less under a hundred dollars. Anything during the summertime, it's over a hundred dollars. I'm doing winter fingers right now, so I'm going to be putting in about sixty-five. That's a lot of energy usage. But this, don't let it surprise you. Concerning about the TV, I'm making an estimate without the without the chump change in it. Then there's phone. Now. These are just, I haven't said about the major one either. either. 
Okay. Now, this one should have been number one. I'm putting it last, but I just wanted to show you what I got to deal with. Okay, so what are we talking about? Um, oh, hell, what was the last one? Ah, hold on. Damn kids with their damn electronic guns again. Sounds like a damn war again. Okay. For me, it's imperative to have computer, but also paper backup. When it comes down for financials. I just always want to keep reminding of myself how much I'm getting stiffed on this one and how much I got left. What I have to deal with on a monthly basis. Because if I don't, I'm going to get my ass kicked on this one. So what was it? Uh, uh, that's the direct express. Where the hell is the damn it? I said that. I'm oh, looking at the credits. I'm not looking at the damn charges. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, let me put in a fictitious amount on this one. I'm going to be not... I'm just putting in an amount, okay? I'm just putting in an amount. For what I'm living in right now, I'm doing a fictitious amount. This is not the usual. So, I'm going to need, it's always have, handy to have a calculator, but I tell you, sometimes it's better when you use it with your head. But, I'm doing it without the chump change added to it, and I am just adding a figure in here for it. Now these are the majors that I have. Okay. Examples, not legitimate. Okay. Now, what I have to do is I have to get the amount that I've got or the total stuff I've got said before, I take what I get from the honey pot. I'm going to do the one for the disability and the food stamps only for right now. So I've got to get my noggin to work on this one. I know I'm going to get screwed up on this one. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so, if I'm adding up the uh, majors, normally first rent takes takes care of itself, and then the rest of it, i got to balance it up. But let's just say if I'm doing it one large lump, okay? This is what i got to deal with. See it closer? Okay. The 985... Let's just say today's the third. Okay? Today's the third of a month. Looking at a calendar, let's just say we got about 30 days. Okay? 
We got 27, 28 days. I mean, we got, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 29, 30. Three days. Okay, 29, 29 days, 30 days. Roughly. Let's say 30 days. I'm saying it. This is not algebra looking, but I don't care. I'm trying to get the calculations on this one here. So, divided by 30 days. Keep this in mind. This is disability. And this is SNAP. And I'm using this as an example for the figures. They're not legitimate. But they are an example. And it's an app I'm using for it. So I would have thirty two and more than a half dollars. That's 30 days. That's taken the amount that I've got for the month, the, the 770 minus the bill, the major bills. Okay. Then I've got that amount there. Divide that by how many days I got to have food for. Then I've got to figure it all out. Now, this is not adding school money to it. If I added school money, I'd be, a, I'd be a lot more with a better cushion. Then that way, I'm able to stabilize the Social Security to have a little bit more money for the next month. So I always depended upon the school money these days. But eventually, that's going to run out because I probably won't be going back to school anymore. But if I do... And if it, and I don't run out, then I have that to count on. But if I don't, but this is just the government stipend per month minus the amount of money for the major bills. I'm not talking about the minor stuff yet. You, you add up with. I'm talking about just survival at this point. Doesn't matter if you need to get dish soap, but you know, with the money that you got right now, you got to get dish soap with it. You got to get additional shampoo money with it. A bottle of shampoo, it'll last you for a while. I don't take showers all that much. So, I save on the soap. But, I do do dishes, but not every single day. If I'm able to get a package of dish pods, then I'll run those dishes in a full dishwasher. I'll get me a small uh, bottle of dish soap, or a large one if I can afford it. Cheap stuff to use for pots and pans. Actually, the skillets would be washed down, and so would the countertops and stuff. I try to make... I try to balance things out what I can and what I can't. On some occasions, I've been able to do a decrease for two or three months at a stretch with some of the utility bills. You can't, I can't do that with the phone. Uh, barely do that with the cable, but I'm going to get caught on that one. Addison will allow me to do the partials, at least up to a point. Say, for example, I'm doing 50 in a month, and maybe I, the balance is about 65. I'm knowing that it's going to be about $15 that's going to be tacked on to the next month. So, you know, I just continue on. Just try to keep something maintained. I'll keep the power on, I'll keep the lights on. I'll keep a balance where I can actually eat a little bit more. This is what it is to deal with. I mean, we've... People have been talking about it for a hell of a long while. Different forms, different formats, different interviews. These are the games that we have to play. This is not taking into account of any medical stuff. 
nothing. This is basically keeping your clothes clean if you can, keeping ramen going if necessary, getting enough milk into the damn household. Powder milk's not that bad. Powder milk, maybe uh, uh, a container of that size, maybe it gets you about uh, two or three gallons out of it. But then trying to do the cost comparison of how much you're getting out of the powder next to regular milk or non-fat or but basically it is full fat I get the stuff I gotta switch to low fat though but I also do cost comparisons on that one now what kind of food well, we need oil to cook with that cost but I'm still trying to get chicken if I happen to get chicken that'll last about two days how my mother eats it and how I eat it. So I limit myself on that one. If I get maybe two pieces of, uh, two whole chickens for tessery, they're about $11 a piece. So it's about 22 bucks right out of the food. And it's also milk costs. If I want eggs or not. 32, I had to stretch this thing out. If I'm going to be going to the stores, I'll go to the liquor stores, try to get as much as I can. The rotisserie chicken has to come from the store, from the, from, uh, the major supermarket we have out here in Roseman is uh, Albertsons. So if I'm doing some calculations at this point, how much food can I get that's going to last me about three or four days at a time? I started doing the calculations for how much I've got right now for in this pricing here. So, uh, we're talking about three or four days. So, that would be about 90 bucks, roughly. Three days worth, about 98. If it's about two, sixty-five. Now that doesn't cover the delivery charge. That doesn't cover the delivery charge when I'm dealing with DoorDash. But during this time, I'm getting dog food from me and my mother. I don't do the canned food because they're costly enough anyway. My mother can't stand it in her old age. So I'm not about the food poisoner on that stuff. But I'll try to some of the vegetables if I can. Maybe they're going up in prices. Rice I've got. I'm not worried about the rice just yet. But what I do, have to, I have to figure out that kind of pricing. So basically, I'm talking about 65 bucks for about two days worth. If I'm going to talk about three days worth, uh, 98 bucks. And you're thinking, well, that's not that bad. Yeah, well, considering I have 985 in this example here to use, and I got 30 days, so I have to figure out what I'm going to have that's going to be going to be useful or not. Whether or not it's going to be done online uh, for bulk or it's going to be delivered. In this situation here, what I would get is maybe one or two pieces, uh, one or two whole chickens. I'd get a gallon of milk. That lasts me about two or three days right there if I'm lucky enough. And I'm not eating up enough cereal on that one. If I happen to get cream of wheat, I can use that for about five, six days at a time. Hopefully, if I still have sugar for that one. And if I have any fruit, bananas. I like eating bananas. I'm constantly doing the bananas at this point. So, that's being done. Uh, eggs. Eggs, 
bit of a pricey, but I'll do it with that one. Cheese, small sometimes, or a large bag if I can afford it. Um, hash browns. Instead of the hash browns, let's go for the potatoes. Five pound of potatoes. Two potatoes, two or three potatoes should be enough for a meal, for a meal depending on how I'm cooking those damn things. Depends on also the rest, also depending upon the recipe that I'm using for this kind of stuff. I have to think about this on a monthly basis. A long time ago, when my family was alive, and we actually had pulled all of our resources together, whether or not my brother and I were working or not, or if my mother had enough money coming in at a household or not. Well before she had disability, she'd be running her own income tax uh, bookkeeping business. So she would have clients coming in. Some months would be harder, and other months we, we would actually uh, be struggling. And in other months, maybe we'd be able to survive. But just enough money coming in to pay the rent off and get the bills paid to a point, and we would still have to carry on that balance. As I said before, in the figuring I did, I'm paying full on the, on the uh, monthly bills. If I decrease it a little bit here, say for example, I've got sixty-five dollars for Edison, for Edison. I put it at about fifty bucks. Now they usually charge for additional services on that one, so that's about fifty-two dollars. I'll pay them off, but that's a little bit more money coming in. Uh -oh, hold on, she's fussing again. Give me a second. Remember I said concerning about a dog. She needs me. She's getting old. She's getting senile. She's got dementia. And she needs me because she screams. She whines. That's what we're saying. Johnny, please come, dear. I need your help. Okay, Ma, coming. So that's what I do. Meanwhile, so when I decrease a little bit about on the uh, bills, I can add a little bit to the food bank. I may actually have something for a special meal if necessary. Now, as I was trying to get into the story concerning about my family, if she actually got enough money coming in from the from the business during during tax season, we actually would have surplus coming in, and we would actually buy bulk when we could. But beyond that, to the supermarket. But we prefer buying bulk because we actually had room in some places. In other places, we didn't have the room for it. So we had to make do. But this is the mass situation I had to present to the, to the class. I'm saying, look, I'm not good at the higher math levels at this point. I'm not even for physics. The instructor is trying to incorporate math concepts into us that makes that makes us look at math and anything and everything well i look at our manufactured world and there's a lot of math to that so you know there's always measurements for that there's always measurements in anything and everything not to mention the weight weight factors and everything else going on you look in the sky and there's fractal math going on nature is mathematical they say I look at the bills I've got right now, and they're mathematical, and I have to struggle with that. I have to struggle with enough funds just to keep my dog going. I'm not talking about going to the vet just yet. Even pee pads are getting expensive these days. When I have, when we actually had the balances. During the COVID situation, we were actually getting some money through the food banks for, for the food stamps. They were actually paying for a lot of things. They were actually paying for a lot of uh, dry goods and a lot of bulk stuff. I was I was, you know, making them stretch for months on end. And it came in handy. But since the program ended, I deal with what I got. And I make that accountable with the rest of the Social Security I got in order to take care of things. And since I've got school money still, 
on making sure I'm using that too. Now, I have to be careful when it comes down for uh, splurging. Some things I want quick and easy, and they cost. A, a bowl of salad will cost about six bucks, depending on what kind of flavor that you're getting. Rotisserie chicken will cost about twelve to thirteen dollars for about about a pound or more. Seven bucks for for a bag or less than a pound of uh, fried potatoes in the supermarket. I'm not talking about fast food. I'm just talking about the major market over here. If I really wanted salad, I'm going to have to shell out six bucks for that thing, as I said before. Milk, about three bucks for that one. Eggs, about the same. I started doing the math in my head on this one. It's a good thing that DoorDash has an app that I'm keeping track of my expenses. Comes in handy, I'll tell you that much. But these are the things I deal with. As I said before, I had to recreate some of these numbers because they're not what I'm using actually this month. They are blown out of proportion. Deliberately. But it still shows you what I have to deal with and balance with. So this is my reality at this point. Now, as for the emotional aspect... Uh, that may be up for another video.